had a guy mess me up like that, and now everybody's saying it. Six points, but yeah, right? Six points is good. Let's pin the dude. How about that? That's even better, right? Now it doesn't even matter what the score is. I'm going to tell you a secret. You want to know a secret about wrestling? It doesn't matter how many times I get taken down in the first period. That guy can take me down six times in the first period. And then eventually, I'm going to get on top, and I'm going to get both his shoulders over to the mat, and the ref slaps the mat, and he raises my hand every time. You know that? No matter how many times he takes me down, you put the guy's shoulders on the mat and you pin him, it's over. Everybody thinks pinning a guy is the hardest way to win. It is not. It is the easiest way to win. The reason you don't pin people is because you don't practice. Every time you take a guy down, put him on his back. How much more time does it take to turk him than just finish a double? Maybe three seconds. Maybe a second or two or three more. But none, right? No more time. But if you're practicing that every rep, you're practicing putting the guy on his back. Guess what works on top too, guys? Turks. Who's gonna be wrestling cargo here in a little while? You wanna mess a dude up on parterre? Drop back, lift his knee, and turk him. They never expect it. You know what my best freestyle turn is? Turk. Inside and outside. So really the only way. Actually, they're working on my gut wrench. It's getting a lot better. I'm getting there on it. That's the main way I turn people's turkey. They never expect it. They think leg lace, they bring your butt up, and you're like, thanks. That's easy. You just tip them in, you tip them in, you tip them in, the match is over. It is one of the best holds there is. But we're going to take our turk from our double leg and turn it into a cradle, bottom leg cradle. If you get a bottom leg cradle, the match is over. So for the sake of time, with Coach Laser, I've started in my turk, and I've got it. Everybody good with it? When you go back out, you're starting in your double leg. So I've got my turk. I've got my throw cut. I've got my near fall. I'm not done with it. I'm not going to let him belly out. So the main thing I do not want to happen is this leg to make it down to the mat. Because now his hips are facing the mat, right? I have to turn his hips before I turn him. So there's a lot of work to do. So right when I settle back, you're flexible. Did y'all guys see that? That was kind of impressive. I know it might not be to you guys, but man, my leg doesn't do that. So when I settle back after getting my turn, I'm going to take my hand in between his legs so he can't turn his hip down. Now, I'm gonna reverse walk my Turk, so instead of making a skinny X, I'm gonna make a T. See how I brought his foot out? I'm keeping my hips off of him. When you're doing this, your hips will stay in. Now, I'm gonna sit back on his foot. See how I've got pressure on his foot where he can't get through, and I keep his leg split. From the leg split, I'm gonna drop elbow deep around his leg. He's in trouble, he just doesn't know it yet. Once I get elbow deep around his leg, I turn and I don't look at that ugly face. I'm gonna elevate that bottom leg and attack his head from a bottom leg cradle. The match is over. All I have to do is not mess it up. So the way I pin in a bottom leg cradle is like a bulldozer. We'll do near side cradle finishes. It's the greatest pin and hold in all of wrestling. We'll do those, but bottom leg, all I do is run him over. I sprawl back. This is not a joke. I sprawl back, and then I use my chest to run him over to his back. Feet wide, chest on top, like I'm pinning in a half Nelson. So from the jump, from our Turk, I've got my takedown. I've got my near fall. Am I done with him? No. No. What's the first thing I have to do when I settle back? Split his legs first. I take my free arm as I settle back, and I split his legs. Now I reverse walk my Turk out and make a T. So from my Turk, what's the first step? Split his legs. Split his legs as I sit back. Reverse walk my Turk, make a T. What's next? How about deep in his legs? Not yet. Sit back. As I sit back and pinch, elbow goes deep. Don't look at that ugly face, catch my uh, cradle. What do I do now to finish it? Sprawl back. back. Use, your chest. Use my chest to bulldoze him over. Forehead in the mat, feet wide, chest drops on him. Time for him to go find a dipping dot stand so he feels a little better about himself. Cookies and cream are don't count. It's only dipping dot flavor. Nothing else works. You probably like bubble gum, don't you? Weirdo. <laughs> Any questions about changing that turk to bottom leg cradle? Does anybody need to see it again? Yeah, I did a bunch of steps in a row, but you guys, I think, can handle it. I'll do it one more time. So you guys walk me through. I got my turk in. I've hit my double leg. I've got my near fall. 
Sit back and split his legs. Split his legs. Make a T. Make a T. Bring my Turk with me. Sit back. Sit back. Elbow deep. Elbow deep. Don't look, Don't look at him. Face. Sprawl back. Use your chest to pull those and up tripod. You guys got it. You ready to start in the double leg in that pinning? Yes. Mm -hmm. It seems like a hard thing when you start from neutral, right? Now you know the steps. You double, you flare feed, you turk him, you settle back, you bottom leg cradle, and the match is over. Ready for the next round. And in just a minute, we'll do it from our inside step, which will turn into a high crotch, which will turn into a low finish, which will turn into a turk, which will turn into a bottom leg cradle, which will turn into pinning the guy. And I know you're like, but I promise that's how you'll start thinking. Pinning the guy's not hard. All I have to do is get on top or hit a high crotch or a double leg. Then I go to my Turk and then I go to my cradle and then I pin him. Then the winds start going up. Then your confidence start to go up. Then your girlfriend looks better. <laughs> you didn't know you were working on that, did you, Tucker? <laughs> She's starting to look a lot better because you're pinning more people now. <laughs> you ready to give that a shot? Start in my double leg, flare feet Turk. Get your near fall, settle back, bottom leg cradle. If you need help, you all for a coach. Go!